So I had this really able IGCSE student, let's just call her Gracie, and she was fantastic with those paper four questions such as on the sine and cosine rule and working with volumes and areas of 2D and 3D shapes. But where she really struggled with was those paper two questions, those non-calculator, where you have to work at speed, you don't have that support of the calculator to check your answers, and she kind of crumbled with those kinds of questions. Now, I'm the ginger mathematician, so I've been teaching IGCSE A-level and IB maths for up now almost 15 years, and I'm going to go through my top five techniques to make sure that you can master the IGCSE maths paper two non-calculator and making sure you get the marks that you deserve on that paper. Now, number one is the number system blitz. So really knowing your fractions, decimals, and percentages. So if I ask you, for example, 0 0.125, what is that as a fraction? You know instantly that's one over eight, and that's gonna save you a ton of time in your calculation, and that's gonna come into my point five later on, where we can actually use that time really, really effectively. Now, number two is a special form of number one, which is those reverse percentage questions specifically. So with percentage questions, you have to be very careful if you're trying to find the new price or the original price and what you do to either multiply or divide the multiplier. That's a little tricky question. It can be two or three marks in an IGCC math paper too. And it's the kind of questions you want to get to get an A or A star. Now, number three is a topic that's not really talked about too much, and that is upper and lower bounds. I did a big video on this, which you can check above. However, it's not always straightforward as just taking 0.5 to the sides of the number. Sometimes you'll get a fraction, you'll get some kind of algebraic calculation where you need to find the upper and lower bound. And that can be more tricky than you think and can lead to quite a lot of marks on that individual question. Now, number four is gonna be no surprise to you whatsoever, which is algebra skills, but what I want to focus on here is specifically factorizing quadratics or factorizing with single brackets as well, because that comes up pretty much every time in one shape or form, even with our algebraic fraction questions, for example, and being able to do those quickly. Notice a lot of these topics here, it's you might have the knowledge, but be able to do it quickly. It's going to save you time. It's going to help you on those more difficult A and A star questions. Now, what was the point five that I mentioned right at the start of the video? That is, of course, time management. Uh, I call this the 10 minute rule. So by following steps one to four, you should get through the paper a bit more quickly. So you should give yourself an extra 10 minutes at the end of the paper too, whether you're doing 0580 or 0607. This is a crucial time to have because now you can actually go through the paper, making sure you've actually checked some of your calculations. There's no reason why you can't do a calculation twice. There's nothing against it in the rules, um, but you can make sure then you've got that calculation, that you've done it again, that you've got the same answer, and therefore you can feel a lot more confident when you go out of the exam. Now, I do go into these five key points in more detail in my live workshop. So this is a 90 minutes intensive workshop with me online. Again, you can check the dates in the description below. And we go through these five points and do lots of practice on these kinds of topics to make sure you're fully prepared for IGC Maths Paper 2 and you can absolutely smash it. And the important thing is, if you can smash Paper 2, it makes you feel a lot more confident for Paper 4. So how are you feeling about the paper too? Then do let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for practice, just really practicing those IGC Maths Paper 2 skills, then check out my exam sprints, which you'll find right over here.